Hi, my name is Matt Adams with Viavi Solutions, and today I'd like to talk to you about generating OSNR for use in manufacturing test applications. OSNR is really the principal metric used to evaluate transponders, line interfaces. In particular, with coherent interfaces, OSNR has really become the key parameter with which you're evaluating the quality and performance of your interface. In manufacturing today, the challenge is to create a stable, repeatable, reliable source of programmable OSNR. And to do that, we're going to do it with an array of map modules uh, combined together, interconnected to give you an easy, simple, well-calibrated, stable uh, OSNR generation tool. And so today to do that, really what we're going to do is we're going to take our signal source. So in my first slot, I have a tunable laser source, which in this case is acting as my simulated carrier. Uh, next to it, I have uh, an optical amplifier, which I'm simply using as an ASC noise source. Uh, each one of those power levels comes e into its individual or independent uh, VOA channel so that I can change and manipulate the amount of power coming out of each of these sources uh, independently. From the VOA, they come into a 50-50 combiner. Both signals are combined, come out on the, uh, to the common. From the common output, I bring them either into my power meter or into my optical spectrum analyzer. Looking at the map GUI, each one of the modules is represented by one of these independent widgets. I'm going to concentrate on this widget here, which is our uh, variable attenuator in slot 4. The two, uh, each one of these blocks represents the attenuator, the, the attenuator setting. The one I'm going to manipulate is channel 1, which is the attenuation controlling the noise power out of my amplifier. If I come in, right now that attenuation is set to 20 dB. Easily increment up or down, uh, creating more or less attenuation. Once I've established what the attenuation level I want, I toggle into my super application, which controls my optical spectrum analyzer. The optical spectrum analyzer is going to give me or is going to, dem or is going to show what the current noise power is. So at the center here, at my B marker, I have the carrier, which is defined right now at 193 megahertz, uh, terahertz. The levels here are the OSNR levels. And what I've done is I've loaded three memory traces into my OSA, showing the independent uh, OSNR level that I've generated. So at the, 30, or the 20 dB attenuation level that we set, you can see the green active trace noise power. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set that trace so I can remember it. And I'm going to toggle back. We're going to decrease the attenuation level. I'm going to increase my noise load by 10 dB. Toggle back to my OSA and rescan. The green trace is now represented by the light blue trace. And you can see I've increased the noise load by 10 dB using the independent control of the VOA. It's important to note that I'm changing the noise level, but I'm not impacting or changing the carrier power. The carrier power is remaining the same. This allows me to have a completely independent test of my carrier power, only looking at the variation of the noise load. So today we've demonstrated a simple, powerful, repeatable way of changing the OSNR using a simple VOA setting in the MAP200. For more information on this application and other MAP200 applications, visit us at viavisolutions.com. Thank you for watching.